And we want to thank those of you who supported KPBS and other local nonprofits during Giving Tuesday. There is a lot of need out there, and that extends to our colleges. KPBS education reporter MG Perez has some eye opening stories about those going hungry while trying to earn a degree. Hunger is on the move among California's community college students. The state confirms half of them, 50%, don't have the money or resources to buy enough food. I have some more mashed potatoes up here. 18-year-old C.J. Pollock is a freshman at San Diego Mesa College. He moved here from San Jose with plans to keep playing soccer and begin his education toward a career in civil engineering. Just before Thanksgiving, he joined hundreds of fellow students lined up in their cars in one of Mesa's parking garages. This is the third annual Pack the Pantry food drive a community collaboration between the college, the San Diego Food Bank, and California Coast Credit Union, established by teachers in 1929 to improve education. Never expecting in 2021 students would be going hungry. That's a problem because what happens is these students have the potential of, you know, dropping a class, missing class, or you know, even not uh, achieving their academics to the potential that we would, that they normally might. CJ is grateful to be able to fill up his car with so many cans and boxes. This helps me because um, then I don't have to go grocery shopping and um, I can say that I can also afford rent with a little bit of help. Um, but this is like, it's a lot of food and it's like gonna help me in the long run so that way I'm able to, to eat. Go ahead and uh, pencils, we got bread. Mesa College also hosted an early Thanksgiving dinner for students who could use an extra meal. Hunger insecurity is happening on four-year university campuses too. The University of California reports 44% of its students often go hungry and 14% of them don't have stable housing. That percentage is even higher for community college students. You live uh, in apartment student housing? No, I'm currently homeless. Oh, you are? Yeah. Alex Montez represents one of those statistics, and he is determined to turn it into his success story. He's an immigrant from Colombia trying to find housing through the San Diego LGBT Community Center. At the moment, he uses Mesa's basic needs resource center called The Stand. Like, I used to come here. I check what kind of snacks they have, you know. Johanna Aleman is the stand coordinator who also comforts students when they need it most. They don't have anybody who cares, anybody who will help them. And so listening to those stories can get emotionally overwhelming. Um, but we do everything we can. And most of them leave feeling at least that the college loves them. All your canned food goods. Um, Anything from canned vegetables to canned fruits. At Cal State San Marcos, they packed a new pantry. The ribbon was just cut on the school's student cougar pantry, which is now 1,200 square feet filled with food, both non-perishable and frozen. There are diapers and hygiene products for struggling students who are parents, all provided by Feeding San Diego, the San Diego Food Bank, and local grocery stores as another solution to the problem. Having access to a meal um, or you know, ingredients that can put together a meal, that way you're not stressing over having to worry about what to eat while well, on top of that having to worry about different stressors that come from being a student. That's food for thought as Alex Montez begins an education for his future career. Probably develop or help develop some of the new um, generation of bionic arms and limbs overall. That's probably what I want to achieve. Food feeds students while nourishing their dreams. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.